The Lord is my shepherd. I shall be born. He made me to lie down in green pastures. He leaded me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leaded me to have the righteousness of his name said. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Thank you. 
Ariana Stormer Lewis. Born May 3rd, 1985, sunrise. Sunset, August 31st, 2024. Home launch services here, Saturday, September 14, 2024. Viewing is for 10 a.m. And the celebration started at 11. By the way, Missionary Baptist Church, 1415 Cushion Street. Houston, Texas, 77019. Pastor Arthur Steve Mitchell is the host pastor. And so today I want my family and our extended family to give the Lord a hand clap of praise for Pastor Mitchell.
says, you know, the Lord ain't gonna say it one time, we're gonna move on to the service. I did not come. Come on. 300. Come on. And 94 miles. Just to sit.
Till still flow, the idiot illusion, no one will ever know. But now we know you want us to know it for you no more. Which one of all the happy times life still has much in store. Since you'll never be forgotten, we pledge to you today. And all of place and within our hearts is where we will always stay. We love you so Flowers grow in heaven. If flowers grow in heaven, on land as well and free. Take some in my sister's arms and tell her they're for me. Please tell her that I love her and miss her every day. And there's still so much that I would like to say. Remembering her is easy. She's in everything I do. I miss her so much, but I know she's safer with you. If tears me on the stairway, made from all the pain, I walk right up to heaven and bring her back again. Lord, please take care of her, and I hope that she will see that she was such a special person and a special sister to me.
the services are being live streamed as we are speaking, but it's going to be uploaded later on YouTube. So just look out. This is your time to add me on my page now, Kendra Brown Senior, uh, send me a friend request, and then uh, once we get it up on YouTube, I'll share the link where everybody can send the link to be. Amen? Amen. 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 Amen.
So I will miss her and to Jamel and to the kids, to Miss Imelda, Ariane, to the family. Um, I'm here. I love you all. I might not know all of you, but I love you dearly. And Star, we are going to miss you so, so much. I'll be 
beloved sister that I met through Katrina Crosby and said she was coming to Houston. Respect on the Pastor Mitchell, my beloved elect brother of the Lord, and all of my distinguished colleagues in this gospel ministry. But I believe in divine providence. If you're here today, I heard the young man there say his heart desire and his prayer did you be saved. And the only qualification for salvation is that you're a sinner through Jesus Christ. If you're not a sinner, you can't be saved. If you're perfect, you don't miss it. Even though they look like they got it all together. I can't say that. But God bless you. God keep you. I encourage you. Finally, uh, Philippians 4 and 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord. But you have to be in the Lord to rejoice. Yeah. The writer, he reiterated and he said, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, he reiterated. Rejoice. But he also said, Let your moderation, your lifestyle, with your imperfection be known unto all men, women, boys, and girls, that the day of the Lord is at hand. Your lifestyle would tell what's real and what's not. All of us know a throwback. I don't know the young lady that went home to be with the Lord. But the spirit of a thing can be back. You can put on whatever you want to put on. You can cover it up how you want to. But the spirit of a thing tells exactly where he is. Also it says, let the peace of God that surpasses all understanding keep your heart and your mind through. Through me to go from origination to destination without shame. Through Christ. Let that peace rule. We live in a day where it's heart attacks and stuff like that. Uh, my whole thing is give your life to Jesus Christ. Today and today our salvation. Amen. Thank God for all of you that have shared your expressions. Amen. We honor the Lord for you. Now we're going to move on to the service. I'm going to have my pastor, Pastor R.J. Cummins of the Macedon Mission Baptist Church uh, here in the city of Houston, Texas. He's going to come and he's going to offer words of comfort uh, to his family. And thereafter, uh, we're going to have a surrounding selection by Elder Aaron Delaney. Did you enjoy it? Amen. I appreciate it. So after the uh, work of comfort, uh, Elder Delaney will come, and then we'll be back with the word of the Lord. Amen. 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 I won't get in trouble. Where my wife at? Big way yet. Oh, there she goes. She in the back. Amen. Hey. Well, the KJ is down here today, so y'all go ahead on and meet uh, our next family pastor, because we'll pass the torch on him. Amen. Amen. Say amen. Amen. I'm here just to give you some words of encouragement. Who needs to be encouraged? We know one thing that life is not forever. We also know that there was a price paid for all of us. And I don't care how you are living. Now, today could be the day that you see the light for you. Y'all say amen if you want to. Because I know you came to a funeral, but it's a celebration. Because her period on this side came to a close. And it is what you did in between your birth. And your period is what counts. I have three scriptures that I'm, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to leave you alone. Since you don't believe that. In Psalm 30, let's say this. The Lord says uh, that you have turned my mourning into dancing and you have taken away my sackcloth because I know that you are God. 
all by yourself. If you don't know him, today is a good time to get to know him. Hmm. Amen. Somebody don't believe that. Maybe I'll tell you about Psalm 121. He says, and look, look what he says. If it had not been for the Lord, who was on my side, where would I be? You may not be in church. You may not be living right. But I want you to reconcile on this. There was somebody who was praying for you, even if you didn't know about it. And so you come to pay your respects today, but yet it's because the Lord watched over you. You you watched how you got here. You dressed to play the part, but you forgot one thing was in my heart. So if you listen to 121, uh, he says, the Lord shall preserve me. He shall smite all of my enemies away. That's an assurance. That's a promise. Now let me let me close up. Go, go sit down for a brown and free. I know where brown and free. Yeah. Uh, yes, look, look, yeah. Look what he said. Look what he says over in about chapter three. Now, I gotta read this to you. He says, although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be in the vines. Well. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flocks shall be out of the gates, and the stalls. Then in verse 18 he says, but yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice in the Lord of my salvation. Now watch this. That first eight part of verse 19 says, the Lord God is my strength. You don't know it. I know you heard it today. There's a thing called memory. She'll never leave you. She'll always be in your heart. Everybody in here have not gotten all your recesses fixed. Amen. But before I take my seat, you ought to address the wrong in you. Ouch. Because life is too short to be living on edge. When you know God has kept you thus far. She brought you together. She got you in one place. Y'all have testified. Now what you do when you leave here? Who do you turn to when this is over with? What choices will you make after today to say, I heard what the preacher said. God bless you, my king. Amen. Sleepless night. 
I can even quit in the spirit. Change the 
In verse 13, we're told to change our lifestyle. Uh -huh. In verse 14, he tells us we need to change in the way we operate when it comes down to that word called faith. Uh -huh. It's needed time to understand that we need God like never before. Yeah. Many of you may be wondering why is it time to wake up? Well, I'm glad you asked. Uh -huh. The first reason why it's time to wake up is because, number one, we are in a multicultural war. Uh -huh. There has been a struggle in our nation. This has been said for many years and it's still going on, but because of some of us may have fallen asleep, it's time for us to wake up. The church in America has reminded, I remain quiet over too many moral and social issues. Yeah. There are many in our nation who will prefer that we stay asleep, but I stopped by here this morning to tell you that we need to make some noise. Yeah. We have been asleep for too long. We've been doing our thing for too long. We've been tied up and wrapped up in the wrong thing. more do God have to do for you to get your mind right? How much more do God have to take from you for you to wake up and understand that he is God? How much more do God have to, amen, strip you of for you to understand that he is God? I come to tell somebody this morning, and I'm almost finished if you will, I come to tell somebody that if you Get your head out the air and understand. 
understand that you are not so heavenly to where you know earthly good because you got to be careful of these heavenly folk because everybody that's talking about heaven ain't Here it is. Lastly, not only are we in the evil just to go on, but lastly, we're in a spiritual world. Yeah. The devil has gone on a rampage. And he's seeking whom he may devour. The Bible says that hell has enlarged herself. And it is waiting on doing it. Can I tell you the devil never calls him sick. He don't have a 401k plan. He don't have no PTO. He's always on his job. And if the devil is on his job, it's time for us to be on our job. I come to tell you, brothers and sisters, that God wants to do a new thing in the body of Christ. It doesn't matter if you're a man preacher. It doesn't matter if you're a woman preacher. I'm not worried about that. I just want to know is there a word from the Lord? Yeah. Because the word is going to transform our mind. The word is going to heal us. The word is going to deliver us. I ain't got time to be sitting down with birds. You've never seen an eagle hang with a bird. Y'all ain't talking to me. I've been with those birds for too long. Now I'm ready to fly with the eagles because birds eat when they can and the eagle eat when they want to. I come to tell somebody that you better be careful because everybody that called upon the Lord don't mean that they have the power of the Holy Ghost. You got to be careful because there are many spirits but that don't mean that those spirits are holy. I come to tell you friend, it's too many churches that are open for you to constantly be missing church. Father, can you hear me now? And that's what the Lord wants 
want to say, this is between you and God. Kamani 
I'm sorry, Kim Honey Harrell, Kyla Harrell, Kim Harrell, Julia Andres, Simon the Third, Nehemiah Lewis, Sincere James, and Carnell Wheeler. Host of cousins and additional families and friends who will miss her deeply and cherish every moment that is spent. She was preceded in death by her brother Bobby Lewis, maternal grandfather Emil Lewis, maternal grand grandparents Vicki Barr, Robert Scrivens, and paternal grandparents Ida Lee Rose and Robert Jones. Joan leaves a void in the hearts of those who knew her, but her spirit will continue to inspire and guide us. Her laughter, her love of life, and her ability to make everyone feel cherished will be surely missed, but never
Thank you.
like my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should camp against me, my heart shall not fear. The wall should, got, should rise against me, and this would I be confident. One thing that I have desired of the Lord that I will seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. To be quiet in his temple, for in the time of trouble he shall hide me in his pavilion in the secret of his tabernacle. He shall hide me. He shall set me up upon a rock, and now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies. Round about me, therefore, would I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing, yea, I will say praises unto the Lord. Hear, O Lord, when I cry with my voice, have mercy also upon me. Hear me, O Lord. Answer me, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask and leaning and depending on you for the mercy of each and every one of us to come in agreement to find out everything that you need to know about God and about how she wine was and how she brought us together and how she talked it to us. The things she told us to do by singing songs and playing songs, gospel songs. It goes on and on and on and on and on. I'm going to miss her so much. The pain is just withering away. It's going to take day by day. But I'm here letting y'all know I'm just going to miss her. I'm going to miss her voice. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten o'clock in the morning. That's how she was. She'll call you in the middle of the night. Mama, get up. Wash your face. I got something I want to tell you. I got something I want to tell you. I said, Shawan, I am sleeping. <laughs> Baby, I ain't sleep no more. I'm up. And I'm here. Right here beside you. Let you know. We all love you. We all came out here for you. You can people come from across the world, Shawan, to see about you. And now all of us right here celebrating you. JJ going to crown you, your oldest son. And he's going to tell you about his future, what he want to do in life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 And that was the 27th song, y'all. Amen. 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 Amen.
She's watching. She's with you. All right? Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, as much as they are pleased, the Almighty God. We take out of this world, sold out to see a sister. We therefore commit our body back to the ground. Don't you hear
who trust me as a guest. We use now in terms of patient for deliverance from the evil. For that is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 Uh, ask for a volunteer to call there, to meet us in the lobby of the church. Give it all So we're going to have, uh, we're going to ask anyone to clear the aisle. And uh, we will be the guests to Oh, it's my job. I came out of all.